everybody, it's Miss Overton here and it is my turn to read you a story today. I'm really excited to read this story because this is one of my favourite stories and I used to read this when I was little. I hope you're all staying safe and you're enjoying your time at home. I can't wait till we're back at school and I get to see all your lovely faces very soon. Um, so yeah, let's read this story. It's called Peace at Last by Jill Murphy. The hour was late. Mr Bear was tired, Mrs Bear was tired and Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs Bear fell asleep, Mr Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore, but Mrs. Bear, oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear wasn't asleep either. He was lying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow. Oh no said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock, went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. Trip, trip went the leaky kitchen tap, mm. went the refrigerator, oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you wouldn't believe what noises there are in the garden at night. Too it too woo, went the owl, sniffle sniffle, went the hedgehog, meow, sang the cat on the wall. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr. Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the window, tweet tweet, went the birds, shine shine, went the sun, oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Peace at last, he said to himself. went the alarm clock. <coughs> Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Do you sleep well? Not very well, dear, yawned Mr. Bear. Never mind, said Mrs. Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. Thank you for listening to my story. Um, I've seen some lovely stories um, on our Facebook page. They were amazing. Um, I've really enjoyed watching them and looking at all the different things that the boys and girls have been doing. Um, so keep that up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I do. Um, and hopefully I get to see you very soon. Bye.